So since this is a totally drugstore look um, for my base, this time I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's just a white base and I'm just going to take that and kind of draw it on, dot it, and then just blend it in. Then next, I'm going to take this Profusions palette with all of these colors that I showed earlier. They're very pretty, very pigmented. And I'm just going to take this first one, well, second one, um, on my MAC 239. And I know this isn't, this is a high-end type thing, but um, you can always just buy... They have tons of brushes at the drugstore, they have e.l.f., Sonia Keshuk, they have tons. And I just didn't have time to go out and get one, so I'm just going to use this one. But honestly, it really doesn't matter, because either one would work just fine. You could even use a sponge if you want. Like, that's how all you're doing is just placing this color all over the lid. That's it. The next, I'm going to take... Where's the color? I'm going to mix this one and this one together. So I'm just going to swipe that and then just get like the tiniest bit of that. Tap off any excess. And then I'm just going to place this in the crease. And the reason I mixed the reddish color with the brown is because the first color that I picked up was just a little bit too red. And red doesn't look good on my eyes. So I mixed in some brown with it so it would look a little more flattering on my eye color and this is just a Sonia Keshuk brush same one that I use all the time <laughs> and next with the same brush I'm just gonna take some of this color tap off any excess and just place that sort of in the outer corner not sort of, yeah, put it in the outer corner. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to blend these two colors together by just going like that. And then if you need to, take a little bit more of like the reddish color and blend that in with that. Just to make sure it's like more of a gradient effect, I guess you could say. Then next, with this little pencil brush, I'm going to take a mixture of this one and this one. And I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line on the outer half of it. So I'm going to stop it like right there. But make sure it's not just like a harsh stop that it like, make sure it blends a little bit more. For my highlight, I'm going to take the white shimmery color at the top with this Sonia Keshuk brush. And I'm just going to place that right there, blending it down into that color. Take a little bit more and place that right on the inner corner and this is just gonna really help brighten your eyes especially if you're like doing this before school so when you wake up early I know no one likes to do that at least I'm pretty sure I don't know anyone who likes to wake up early but this will just help you look a lot more awake and it'll make your eyes look brighter and wider and you know all that fun stuff then next I'm going to take this black eyeliner from Physicians Formula. You can just use any black eyeliner that you have. And I'm just going to take this and kind of smudge it in to the outer third of my lash line. Just to give my lash line a lot more definition and to make it look a lot more full. Another great tip to looking like really bright and awake and especially in the mornings it's nice to know which I'm sure everyone's heard of this before is just a white eyeliner or a peach one or just like a light colored liner and just putting that on your waterline makes you look so much more awake or another trick to make your eyes look a lot whiter is using a blue liner which I've heard, I've never tried. I have a navy blue liner, but I always use it on my top lid. I never put it on my waterline. So maybe I should try that. But that's just another tip to make you look a lot more awake. I'm going to take my eyelash curler 
And I'm going to curl my lashes. And I still have mascara on, left on my lashes. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Define Lash Mascara in brownish black, as always. And I'm just going to put not a lot of this on. Just like enough to give my lashes length and more fullness to them, I guess. So that is it for the eye look, and let's move on to the cheeks and the lips. Next for blush, I'm going to be... Ugh, my hair is so weird. I put it in a side pony for whatever reason, I don't know, but it's really weird. Like, I look really weird right now. Oh well. I don't care. So, anyway, next for cheeks, I'm going to be using this Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural, and it's from Physicians Formula. It looks like that. It's really pretty. It's very shimmery, which I really like because it gives my skin a glow. And it smells really good too. That's why it's supposed to be like mood boosting or whatever because it smells good. But anyway, I'm just going to take that on my blush brush. And but any just fluffy brush would work and there are tons at the drugstore. So you can just buy one from there. You can buy one from Elf for like a dollar. Um, so I'm just going to take that and put it on my cheeks and like work it back like I always do. And if you want like more of a reddish, rosier cheek, you can always swirl in some of that really dark one. But if you just want lighter, then you can just swirl it on this side and it won't be so dark. Okay, then next I have three lip options depending on what kind of sort of style you like better. Um, the first one is this L'Oreal Color Rich lay like gloss in peach fuzz and I've showed this before um, I really love this color um, when I bought it I thought it would be a lot more it's really sheer so if you don't like a lot of color but you still like to have something on your lips I think this would be really nice because it's sheer but it still gives a little bit of color and here I'll just put it on. Um, and it smells really good too so I don't know if you guys can tell but it's really sheer it didn't really do that much to my lips um, but it's still really glossy and pretty if you are the kind of person who doesn't like a lot of color but you still like something on your lips. That's really nice. Um, my next option is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, lip butter from Revlon. And it's in the color Strawberry Shortcake. And it looks like that. And it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's like the perfect, I don't know if you'd say peachy pink, like corally pink color. So, ne so now that that's wiped off, I can show you what this one looks like. And this one isn't as sheer as the gloss is, so it'll give you more color. And they have these in tons of different colors, depending on what kind of color you like. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this color, and it's just a little bit more opaque if you like that better. If you like stronger colors I guess you could say on your lips versus really sheer ones like this um, and this next one is for people who are really daring and love really bright lips this is the Revlon kissable wait just bitten kissable and this is in the color sweetheart valentine and it's a lip stain and it just like twists up like this See, can you see that? Yeah. And I am in love with this. It smells like mint. It smells so good. Mint, peppermint is like my favorite scent in the entire world. It reminds me of Christmas and I love Christmas. Um, so, it smells really good and it's really, really bright. And once it's like fully on your lips, like once you put it on and it like kind of dries a little bit, it will not move. <laughs> at all like literally till the next day you might still have it on your lips unless you like scrub it off um, so it is definitely long wearing and at least for me it is I don't know if it is for everyone but for me it was 
Um, and I just really love this. So here. So that is what this one looks like. And I know it's really bright, but I love, love bold lips. Bold, bold lips. That's like all-time favorite. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this completely drugstore look. I did get a comment the other day. Thank you so much for that. Beauty blogger crazy. Okay, thank you for sending in that comment for a request. And it was for to do like a Gossip Girl series, but I have never seen Gossip Girls before. I tried to find the first episode and every single place I looked it said you had to pay for it. Um, <gasps> on demand! On demand! I so didn't even think of that. I'm gonna look it up and if I can I'm gonna like watch some of the episodes see what kind of makeup they do and then I will definitely try and find some things in my collection for that but I didn't know Blake Lively I love Blake Lively Leighton Meester I love her and Michelle Trachtenberg does anybody remember her from Ice Princess and I will definitely try that out so thank you so much for um, leaving a comment and leaving a request for me um, Comment if you would like to. Um, send me in requests because it just gets my mind flowing on what other things I could do. Um, yeah, and I love hearing from you guys. I really do. Like when when I see a comment on my video, like oh I love this look or you know just something like that. Oh my gosh, it so makes my day. Like you don't even know. And 15 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That like it means so much to me. Like it's just I can't even describe it. So yeah, thank you guys and like the video if you liked it. Um, and subscribe if you want to to see more videos and I'm just in a good mood today. I had to go to the dentist this morning, which a lot of people don't like the dentist, but I kind of like the dentist because I like keeping my teeth pretty because my mouth is screwed up. Like my teeth, oh my gosh. I should make a whole video on how screwed up my whole mouth situation was because of my teeth. My teeth were just not having it when I was little. Mm -mm. It was bad. I should make a video on that, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah. That is it for this drugstore look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, like I said before. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a totally drugstore look. Um, pay no attention to my hair. I didn't know what to do with it, so I put it in a pony. And now it looks really weird. Um, maybe if I like pin that back, it would look a little bit less weird. I don't know. My hair was just not having it today. So, um... Yes, this is a totally drugstore look, and the lips look really bright when you look at them right now. Yeah, I know, but don't worry. I have three different lip options. And then, yeah, and all my makeup is completely drugstore. And this, I just really wanted to mention before I started. This, okay, this is not a sponsored thing at all. I This isn't like a promoted thing. I just really wanted to tell you guys about it because I thought it was so awesome. Um, this Profusion... Brightening Eyes palette, and it's what I used in the tutorial. It looks like that. And they have it in tons of different colors. Guess how much this was? 49 cents. 49 cents. I got it at CVS, and um, I was like, I was freaking out. Tons of them, tons of different colors. They had blues, greens, yellows, pinks, purples, like everything you could even imagine in these palettes. And... The pigmentation, oh my gosh, you guys, the pigmentation, here, I'll just watch them for you. Just going like that, like that, like that. Okay. Look at that. One swipe, one swipe. Okay. So anyway, the pigmentation's amazing, and I looked at it, and when I was looking at them, it said 99 cents. So like, you know, a dollar. Um, duh. <laughs> so I was looking at it, but then when I, when the person rung it up, my mom looked at the receipt and she looked at it and said 49 cents and then so she asked the lady she's like it said 99 cents over there how come it says 49 over here and then the lady said oh, I don't know it just rung up that way 49 cents and if you can't get it for 49 cents then it's 99 cents but like oh my gosh that is like such a steal so 
yeah, definitely check these out at CVS. Um, I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. All I've I've only seen them at CVS before, but that was pretty awesome. I found that. So yeah. Um, so that was my whole main inspiration for this tutorial because this didn't really cost like anything at all. It will. I mean, yeah, it cost it. But I was just really happy about that. Forty nine cents, you guys. Like, come on now. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that is my whole main point of that video is to use that and show you guys how you can use that for I guess this could work for back to school if you're like on a budget um, because I know a lot of people are and so yeah that would be something great to pick up for everyday school it's shimmery if you like shimmery it's fun um, so I think that's it uh, I hope you guys enjoy this look and guess that's it, so let's get on to the tutorial.